All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are going to be taking on the GT Legendary Goku event with a Majin Buu Saga team featuring the new STR Kid Buu, as well as the Fizz Super Saiyan 2 slash Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Now, originally I wanted to make this video like two days ago, but then I decided to wait until I was done all my summons to film because uh, that would allow me to potentially pull some dupes and it worked out. In case you guys missed the summoning video from earlier today, I'll put a link over there, so feel free to go check it out. But uh, anyways, with that said, let's jump right into it. And on this first rotation, we have the STR Kid Boo linked up with his best linking partner in the game, which is the Tech Buff Boo. And we also got support from this Gohan, so he's starting with 139,000 defense, which is decent. It's decent, but not anywhere close to his full potential. And uh, we are missing big bad bosses, by the way. I tried really hard to get it to level 10, but it just wasn't meant to be. It wasn't happening. So uh, yeah, let's give these guys a few orbs. Let's see what the Kid Buu can do on the first turn with his first attack, but once again, he will get much, much stronger later on. Okay, so first super, just under three mil. Just under three mil. It's all right. Okay, maybe a second super. There it is. Okay, so <laughs> that was a one million increase in attacks that right there from the first super, to the second super, third super maybe. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Yo, this guy's really showing out. <laughs> this guy's really showing out. So, uh, from 3 to 4 to over 5 were those three supers. Um, that was pretty good. I gotta say, that was pretty good. Okay, so second rotation, we have the Fizz Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Unfortunately, he doesn't have his linking partner, his ideal partner on this team, which would be the Int Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku. Um, so right now we're linked up with the Majin Majita and we share three links, which is okay, but not that good. And uh, he started with 129,000 defense. Of course, he does get a lot more defense after he supers. It's not a huge deal. And let's um, give these to the, actually my Majin Majita I think is better. So let's put my Vegeta there. Let's give these to him. And we should be able to get a super for the Goku. There we go. And I am definitely concerned about the friend Majin Vegeta actually in that third slide. You could definitely get a lot of damage there if there is a super. Hopefully the super is actually in the first slot. Because this guy can take it better with the orbs we gave him. Oh man. Okay, so is Super Saiyan 2 Goku attacking? Missed the attack stat. I don't think it actually showed, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think they showed an attack stat. Oh, no, no. Okay, so we saw one there. We saw one there on the additional. Uh, that was what, 3.5? I think it was 3.5. Could be wrong. And as you can see, that uh, I think it's medium chance to crit right now coming into effect. Wait, is it medium or high? I forgot. <laughs> I gotta check that. Give me a second, guys. But some good supers right there from the Goku, despite not having his ideal linking partner. And this is the transformation for the Int Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which will eventually link up with the Fizz Goku later on. So let's just put him in the third slot there. Um, defense up to 235,000. This is without support. No support, 235,000 defense. Now quickly checking this Super Saiyan 2 Goku. He has a high chance, my bad, a high chance to crit as Super Saiyan 2, which becomes a great chance when you transform into Super Saiyan 3 for the first six turns, okay? So, Kid Buu, you know what? Type disadvantage here, but I trust him to, you know, tank these attacks well, so I'm gonna put him in that first slot. I want him to take as many attacks as possible, because um, that will allow us to get the active skill off sooner than later. And, oh, this might hurt. <laughs> this, this might hurt a little bit. Okay, that hurt a lot. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that hurt a lot. Uh, this super, though, 
5.6 mil. 5.6 mil with a crit, additional super. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. 6.9. 6.9. Can we get a third super? You're kidding me. 7.2. Okay. I mean, what can I say? What can I say? He's going off. He's absolutely going off. And uh, there is the Super Saiyan uh, GT Goku right there dead. I think we just soloed him with Kid... Well, the booze, basically, right? That was... Impressive. <laughs> that was really impressive. <laughs> okay. Um, this turn, we could pop the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Right? We could pop his active skill and transform him into Super Saiyan 3. But I don't think I'm going to use it right now because it only lasts for six turns as far as like the, uh, the, the extra attack buff and the great chance to, to crit. So I'm going to save it for... At least when we get to like the Super Saiyan 4 um, Goku's, right? So, yeah, I'm gonna hold off for now. I think we'll be okay defensively, though. I'm, I'm a little bit worried, if I'm being honest. But I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I'll just give these to the Gohan. Make sure he gets some healing for us. And, okay, 70 damage. Nice. And yeah, first super. We, I never get to see attack stat. For this guy on the first super it's like an issue I have with certain units it's rare but it happens like this guy and the um, LR which one is it uh, SSB Vegeta Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta also first super never see attacks that let me know in the comments if that's an issue that you guys are facing or if it's my device specifically that's having this issue because um, it's weird it's kind of weird it doesn't, doesn't matter that much. It's not like gonna affect his performance per se, but I like to see the attack stats, right? So, just kind of annoying. Okay, wow, no super that turn. That's great. Okay, no super that turn. Uh, Kid Boo first slot. We did take a super attack. So, I think our defense might be a bit lowered. That's what it seems like to me, at least. Um, but I think he'll be fine either way against this GT Goku, but when it comes to the buff boo, he might struggle. Maybe. It's fine. We'll probably kill him with Kid Buu anyways. It's not going to be a problem. Okay, Kid Buu will probably finish him by himself. I hope. Fingers crossed. Okay, so next time he comes, comes around, next time we come back, uh, we should be able to pop the active skill and get an additional 20% attack and defense on top of what he's already getting, which obviously is a lot, right? Oh my god, this guy's getting so many supers. <laughs> he's getting so <laughs> many supers, and this should finish him. Oh no. Okay, we got saved. We didn't manage to finish off the Goku, and I thought we were going to take a super on Buff Boo, and Buff Boo would have probably been destroyed but luckily it worked out so we're, we're okay we're okay all right um so we can't pop the super saiyan 3 fizz Super saiyan 3 goku active skill i'm actually gonna pop the Whis though because uh as you guys know this guy hits really hard right the super uh, sorry the great ape the golden great ape right now he hits really, really hard, so we gotta be very careful here. And that's why the Whis, I think, is just mandatory. And let's give six orbs to the Majin Machida. That's gonna give him the uh, additional defense buff, as well as the extra damage reduction. And if Super Saiyan 3 Goku gets super, there is a chance we dodge it, which would be nice. Let's see it. Oh, additional super. I like that. Um... Yeah, so for the Fizz Goku, you need to be under 77% HP in order to transform him, which is why we weren't able to transform this turn. So the next time we come around, hopefully, we'll be able to uh, 
off the active skill and get the double Super Saiyan 3 Goku rotation. Uh, additional super, yes. Here we go. Additional. And give me one more for good measure. Let me see three supers. Just like the Kid Buu. Just like the Kid Buu. You can't let Kid Buu show you up, man. But although it's actually to be expected, because for these two units, my opinion, and based on like what I've seen so far in my this video, but also like past experience, um, I think that the Kid Buu is better when when the Super Saiyan 2 Goku hasn't transformed yet. Okay, so as Super Saiyan 2 Goku, I think the Kid Buu is better than the Super Saiyan 2 Goku. But then when you transform the Goku into Super Saiyan 3, that's when I think the argument gets a little bit more interesting. I think Super Saiyan 3 Goku does edge out Kid Buu. But it's, it's I think it's pretty close, man. I don't know. I think Super Saiyan 3 Goku is better than Kid Buu. But Super Saiyan 2 Goku is not as good as Kid Buu. Which I guess makes sense. Okay. So, uh, let's pop this active skill here, guys. Let's get that additional 20% attack and defense buff. Enjoy the active skill animation, which is definitely one of my personal favorites. <laughs> it's very creepy, which is awesome. And, oh my god. Is that real? We're up to 443,000 defense. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so insane. Okay, let's see how much damage we can do now. Uh, we are getting a lot of uh, attack and defense from his passive, from the active skill, from the support. Did I see that right? Did I see that right? <laughs> 8.8, .8, right? Oh my god, additional 9.3. Okay. Okay then, Kid Buu. Okay then. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. And we're back to full HP. So, uh... Alright then. Let me see. Let's do... Man, it's gonna be tough to get the Super Saiyan 3 Goku transformation, isn't it? They're not making it easy. They're, they're not making it easy. Hopefully this turn we take a little more damage. Um, the problem with the Kid Buu is he heals you so much. I guess that's not a problem. It's a good thing. But <laughs> he heals so much. And because he's giving you 20% HP after he takes a hit, um, it might actually prove to be a problem for us to get this Super Saiyan 3 Goku transformation off. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best. It, it's kind of a delicate balance, right? It's, it's like, you, you don't want to die, right? You don't want to die to a super, but at the same time, you don't want to uh, not get Goku's full potential in a showcase video like this. Like, I feel like this has been just the Kid Buu show so far. And it really has been, up to this point. It really has been. Um, okay, so if we pop the... Ooh, we saw Icarus. Um, if we pop the... I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, sorry, there's no Icarus. I meant Princess Snake. If we pop the Princess Snake, the... Kid Boo should be fine, but the buff Boo should be taking quite a bit of damage. Quite a bit of damage. So hopefully. Oh no. Got a token attack this turn. <laughs> we got a token attack this turn. Alright, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. And I mean, if we get like an additional super. Is there a chance we kill Super Saiyan 4? There is a chance. I think it's actually possible if we get the crits too. Kid Buu might finish him off. I'm kind of hoping he doesn't. Okay, just leave it there. Just leave it there. Okay. 
Man, this is not what I wanted. This is this is not what I wanted. Like I love seeing him go off like this. Trust me, I have to, it's it's awesome. But Goku though. Goku though. We need to transform him. I should have transformed him a while ago. That was my mistake. I was like, let's save it, but nah, that that was that was dumb. Okay. So no items this turn. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us. Um here we go. And I want to see at least one rotation of Super Saiyan 3 Goku before we get out of here. <laughs> that is the goal now. Kid Buu has shown us what he can do. Kid Buu has shown us his potential. Now, we must get the Super Saiyan 3 Goku transformation at all costs. Otherwise, this will just be the Kid Buu experience. <laughs> Okay, yep, additional attack, maybe additional super, nope, two additional attacks, okay, and not taking much damage there, interesting, I think we'll be able to do it, I think, I think we'll be able to do it, um, yeah, oh, ooh, this is gonna suck, this is gonna suck, isn't it? Holy crap. Okay. Um Wow. Okay. Uh I think I'm going to have to break these guys up. <laughs> that Yeah, we have the opposite problem now. Okay, so Okay, no screw it. Let's put Let's let's do that. Let's do Princess Snake. Right? And then, Kid Boo will be fine. It is the buff Boo we're concerned about. It is the buff Boo we're concerned about. Okay, that should be enough healing with the Princess Snake. I think. Oh, I'm concerned. <laughs> I'm concerned. I didn't want to use a Whis as well. I could have stacked the Princess Snake with a Whis, but if I did that, then um, I think we would have had too much damage reduction. And, you know, with the Kid Boo healing as well, it just wouldn't have been good. It wouldn't have been good. So I think with this setup right now, Buff Boo will take a good amount of damage. Oh, yeah, a lot of damage. Never mind. A lot of damage. But still keep us alive. Yeah, still keep us alive. And then next turn, we can pop the. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, <laughs> active skill. <laughs> this has been a lot of work. <laughs> this has been a lot of work. Okay, so we get the healing, but not enough for us to go beyond 77%. And now we can finally, finally do this. Usually it's not this hard. Usually it's not this hard. As you guys saw, I was fully capable of doing this like many turns ago i just turned it down because i was like i want to save it i want to save the full you know six turns for the super saiyan fours but uh yeah things kind of took a turn from there uh let's pop a Whis just for safety purposes i don't think we needed it honestly but why not One hundred and thirty-eight thousand defense for the super saiyan 3 goku once again he gets a ton more um defense on his super both his super attack as well as his passive, so not really a concern. And let's give a couple of orbs to the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. We'll give these to the other Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And uh, we'll give the int orbs to Majin Vegeta. Let's see what the Super Saiyan 3 Goku that we worked so hard to, you know, achieve can do now. Okay, so this guy's taking a super uh, with the Whis, probably like 50k at most. Wow, I was spot on. Okay, there we go. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, 5.8 mil. I want to see like four supers right now. Okay, it took so much work to get him. I want to see four supers right now. That's two. Okay, he dodged that. Three. There's three. 6.7. I want to see four. I said four. Give me four right now. Come on, man. One more. Ah, the fourth was an additional. The fourth was an additional. Alright, either way. 
Um, you guys can see what he can do. He can launch up to four supers. Uh, two on average is pretty common. Three, you know, like every few turns, and then four if you're lucky. But uh, he can get up to one more super attack. They kid boo, hit super hard. 70% uh, chance to crit as well, which is crazy, right, for six turns. And uh, between the Kid Buu and the, you know, Super Saiyan 2 Goku, or Super Saiyan 3 Goku, I do think the Super Saiyan 3 Goku is better than Kid Buu. But Kid Buu is much better than Super Saiyan 2 Goku. There's no debate about that. And by the way, both these guys have one dupe, so it's fair, right? He has one dupe, and he has one dupe. So it was, it was like a fair comparison. So, uh... That's my opinion right now. Kid Buu, better than Super Saiyan 2. Super Saiyan 3, better than Kid Buu. But they're both awesome units. Um, if I had a preference between the two, I guess... I do kind of prefer the Kid Buu more because he starts off at his full potential, right? He starts off at full power. Whereas the Goku needs to transform. And usually it's pretty easy to get his transformation. But there are going to be some instances where um, it takes some work. You know, it's kind of hard to get that going. And in that case, Super Saiyan 2 Goku is just not nearly as impressive as Kid Buu, right? So, um, I guess it's a matter of preference. It's a matter of what kind of event you're taking on. But I love both these units, man. <laughs> I really do. I love both these units. I'm glad I was able to pull them and uh, I was able to showcase them to you guys. And that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. This team is nuts. It's absolutely crazy both the goku and the kid boo um i know this one was more kid boo focused not goku's fault really i could have used the transformation much earlier but you know what can you do sometimes things don't go exactly the way you want them to in these videos but uh yeah that's gonna do it guys thank you so much for watching as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.